hard to wrap your mind around something like this, especially when it just happened so tragically to a young person, <clears throat> especially somebody who had such a big heart. Tonight at 6, family, friends, and teammates mourning the loss of NFL player Dwayne Haskins. Police say the 24-year-old was walking along I-595 when he was struck and killed by a dump truck. But there are so many questions remaining tonight. Here's the latest on the story. Peter Dench is reporting live from Davie Forest. Peter? Well, Elliot and Carly, as we work to find out more information here at uh, FHP headquarters in Davie, FHP says it's not clear why Dwayne Haskins was trying to cross Interstate I-595 on foot. This is a very involved investigation, and so they have a lot of questions about why this happened. Meanwhile, we are now hearing from a police dispatch. Pedestrian was walking on the highway. Uh, they're putting a call for District 14. Everybody westbound. Westbound at 95, 95. It's a recording of a police dispatch after Dwayne Haskins is seen on Interstate 595 early Saturday morning. How and why this happened is still a mystery. FHP says a 24-year-old Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback was struck and killed by a dump truck that stayed on the scene. FHP says for some reason, Haskins was trying to cross the westbound lanes of 595 just west of I-95. It was 6.37 in the morning. Though early, there's a lot of traffic going to and from the Fort Lauderdale Airport. Ryan Day is a head football coach at Ohio State University, where Haskins was a star quarterback and Heisman Trophy finalist. There's a good... A group of our guys who played with Dwayne, um, and, and they're hurting. It was a um, tough weekend for all of us, you know, and uh, certainly our prayers are going out with the family. The school had tweeted out a photo saying leader, legend, forever a Buckeye. At the school's football stadium, the jersey with his number seven hangs on the gate of the horseshoe with flowers, symbolizing the school's Rose Bowl victory in 2018. It's hard to wrap your mind around something like this, especially when it just happened so tragically to a young person, <clears throat> especially somebody who had such a big heart. Uh, I think when you think about Dwayne, you just think about the compassion that he had, certainly for all of his teammates and his friends. The day before he died, Haskins posted video on his Instagram account joking with Najee Harris. Haskins was in South Florida working out with members of the Pittsburgh Steelers offense. Uh, you just saw somebody who you just enjoyed to be around. You know, our guys really enjoyed being around him. He, he uplifted others. Now, a spokeswoman for the Florida Highway Patrol says the agency at this point will not be speaking on camera. So far, no charges have been filed. This is an open investigation. That probe could last up to 90 days. We are live in Davie. Peter Danch, CBS 4 News. Okay, Peter, thanks a lot.